ജോസിന്റെ <laughs> Shechem was close to the city where more immorality was practiced. While in Shechem, Jacob's daughter Dinah went out and mingled with the heathen women and he she was sexually assaulted by one of the young men. And they both wanted to get married. Verses 13 to 20 and what we read here is the incident when her brothers cheated this man who raped Dinah saying he could marry her only if all the men in the city would be circumcised all men agreed to it because Jacob's family was a very wealthy family after circumcision when they were all in pain and discomfort Dinah's brothers went and murdered all the men. They could not fight back. For the sin of one man, they committed this mass murder. Not only did they do this brutal sinful act, they also brought a disgrace to God's sacred sign of covenant of circumcision. they used their sister as an excuse for them committing this sin we read in verse 31 when their father questioned them they said should he deal with our sister as with a harlot it was a bold plan for the cause of evil resulting in even more evil action the massacre of all men of the city because of the crime of one man was not justice they also completely plundered the city even taking women and children as slaves sons of jacob acted like ungodly people like canaanites their actions clearly showed that they were already absorbed into that wicked culture the great mistake their father did was settling down in the world and becoming one with the world. Dina went out that was her unwise decision. She was at fault. Also her father or mother did not supervise her. They also were at fault. In that society of ungodly environment any unattended female could be raped. The Lord God wanted his chosen holy people to be separated people unto God. In all the areas of their lives, culturally, socially, and even more spiritually. Jacob compromised in the past and he does that even now. He was not a good role model for his children. And children followed the same path. He could not prevent them. As he was already doing the same thing. in disobedience living in the north now rather than going to the south jacob kept quiet on this incident until his sons came back from the field her brothers were greatly offended in this not her father jacob was the god appointed head of the family he did not take the appropriate leadership in the family brothers had to take the matter in their hands 
Canaanite proposed marriage with Israel, the covenant family. This was violating God's redemptive plan through Jacob. Result will be complete assimilation of both group of people and God's people will be eventually absorbed into this very vast group of ungodly Canaanite people. God did not want that. He wanted them to be separate people. This incident is not just a dispute between one man raped one woman. This has a great future impact on God's plan. This is about the future generations and the eventual losing of identity of God's own people. Dear my sisters, we need to be extremely, extremely careful when living in this world not to get absorbed into the world. The consequences are irreparable. Jacob was concerned about his own welfare than the horrible things done to all men by her sons. He became a worldly man. We read in verse 30, he was self-centered and Jacob said to his children, You have troubled me to make me to sting among the inhabitants. I being few in number, They will come against me and slay me and I shall be destroyed, I and my house. See how many times the pronouns I and me mentioned in here. Very self-centered. The worldly motive and desires. He had no concern of God. It was the same old Jacob, not the new Israel, as the Lord called him to be. He passed on his deceitful natures to his children. They watched everything of their father and deceived all the men in that city. Jacob needed to repent. Looking into his own life, he should not be focusing on blaming his sons. He alone is to be blamed first for this. Horrible incident in the family. Beloved sisters and all those who are listening to this devotion, those of us who are parents, may we set good examples before our children, train them in God's way and keep praying for them. Keep our words and actions pure, at least for our children's sake, our next generation. Jacob was self-centered with no fear of God when his children committed sins. May we fear the Lord God and be convicted of our own sins, our personal sins, repent and return to our Lord God, so that we will have godly next generations, growing up, fearing and obeying God. Also, it's a reminder, a warning. For us believers, we should not mingle with the world. Soon we will be trapped in their sins, practicing the sins of the world. We should be separated, living in all purity, in all the aspects of our life. Also, we should not overcome evil with evil, as Jacob's sons did. They committed mass murder in retaliation. Jacob was so self-centered that he did not care for God. When his sons and daughters committed sins, he did not repent. He kept on saying, I and me, no mention of the Lord God. May we fear God and be convicted of our sins and live a separated, holy life under the Lord God, even our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen.